back to the channel and today I'd like to talk to you about my July TBR. Now in June I made a bit of an, I wouldn't call it an error, but I made an adjustment to my TBR. Uh, when I should have been reading one 200 page book, I was reading another. I actually read Roadside Picnic back in June when I should have been reading Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. So my July TBR will start with a book from my June TBR. Heart of Darkness uh, is a classic that has been on my TBR for a while. It is on my 50 books to read before I'm 50. I did push it back a month due to Roadside Picnic. Um, so I will be getting to this in July. But as I just said, it's only about 190 pages long. So it's not the longest book by any means, but I will certainly try to fit that one in in July. And it's nice to have a slightly shorter book because the next book up for me will be this one here, Lord of Chaos. This is book six wheel of time by robert jordan and it is a thousand pages long and robert jordan i think has quite a i would say it's a reasonably dense prose i wouldn't say it's a difficult book to read um but if i was to give it a mark out of 10 for density robert jordan's prose is probably around a six or a seven so if at a thousand pages it won't be the fastest read it'd probably take me the best part of three weeks to read this um, so it will take up most of my month for sure. It's quite a cosy series, I think, Wheel of Time. Um, and I am certainly looking forward to getting back to it. It has been almost five months since I read a Wheel of Time book. So I really need to get back on the bandwagon. Lord of Chaos needs reading in July for sure. And then the next book is long, but not quite as long. And that's by Joe Abercrombie. This is Best Served Cold. And this is the first of three standalone novels in the first Law universe. Um, this one is a small hardback. It comes in at 536 pages. So, you know, it's not quite as long as Lord of Chaos, but it's certainly not a short book in itself. And it will probably take me into the early days of August. I should think three or four days into August when I actually get done with this one. I may be on holiday by the time I pick this up. So hopefully I can get most of it read in July while I'm on my holiday. But if holiday turns out to be very busy, that won't be the case. Um, but certainly, I think if I look at all of these books together, I think it's just over 1,700 pages, um, which is, yeah, on a, on a good month, I can do 1,700 pages for sure. I think last month I tried to do um, over 2,000 pages. I failed. Um, but this month, 1700 for July. Yeah, that, that seems achievable. Um, let me know if you've got any chunkers on your... I mean, it's big big books of summer is obviously going on at the moment. If you've got any big books, I think both of these do class as um, qualifying for big books of summer. I believe that reading event um, is every book over 400 pages. For most fantasy readers, 400 pages is a light snack. Um, so if you're a fantasy reader, you probably won't be too intimidated by that um, reading challenge for sure. Um, but certainly a couple of bigger books in my July, hence why I'm only holding three up this month. Um, let me know if you're going and reading any big books for the summer, or maybe you're doing Rocket Summer or Book Trek, and you want to just leave me what you're reading in July down in the comments below.